I'm standing outside in my garden on a sunny day in early September, west of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I just want to show if you do the right thing, you will get success. I'm growing apples that can stand 40 below, zone two. Pick the right apple, pick the right vegetable, and you can succeed. It's horses for courses. Just nothing will grow at random. It's a short season. Pay close attention, and I will show you how to grow virtually anything. There's not much left now. I've picked most of it uh, over the last few weeks, and it's early September. You can grow corn here, but there's a trick. I started this corn in these little trays in the 1st of May. I transplanted them in the middle of May. And, you know, I can look in here and there's still corn. You know, just start it early. Start it in the house or in the greenhouse. Transplant it in mid-May into the garden. And you've got your corn growing here in a short climate. You've all heard about edamame, that soybean delicacy at expensive restaurants. Well, here it is. Beautiful plump beans. How do I grow it in the short season this far north? Same system. I mean, just ready. They're, they're full plump and ripe and ready for picking. You can't grow it in Edmonton. Here's the proof. Onions. We have a problem with onion maggot. It kills off the onions. Plant them deep. See the earth and the onions? I put them six inches deep. Nice and clean. I put them below the maggot. You plant them out as soon as the ground thaws in April. Dry beans are easy to grow, but again, early, early. You don't wait. You plant them as soon as the soil warms up, or you can plant them or transplant them like edamame. I mean, you're not going to grow a ton, but the satisfaction of having dry beans. Here they are. Beautiful beans. And look at this one. See? Nice white beans. Excellent for soup in the winter. Just dry them and harvest them and dry them. Carrots, parsnips. How do you get them early and big? The trick is... You don't plant them in the growing season, you plant them in October. This year I will plant my carrot seed in October. And here they are. See, I can pull them up. Look at that. Seed them in October. Parsnips love water. And again, these were seeded last October. So they had, they came through the winter and they germinated early in the spring. Now, one thing about parsnips is you can also leave them in the ground over winter. If you have too many, leave them. They love water and fertilizer. Here's one. Here they go. Now, that's a large parsnip. And if I left it in the ground, it'll grow in the cold. It would be twice this size. Selection is very important and growing vegetables Follow the rules and it's easy.